I think in one of the earlier shows I mentioned, <laughs> we don't we don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. Welcome back, boys and girls, and welcome back to another edition of Art at Home with Mr. Morales. That's right, where today we are celebrating a new season. Because you know what? Winter's coming to an end, and you know what that means. It's springtime! That's right. And the beauty of spring comes in so many ways, from April showers to um, trees growing back their leaves and, and, the, and the flowers growing and all the beautiful colors they produce. And just, you hear the sound of birds all over the place. And most importantly, it's warm. It's warmer. Throw on a light jacket, go outside, go play, etc. But to celebrate spring, we're going to begin with something fun. We're actually going to be doing a couple of projects, but for this week, we're going to begin with something simple and something fun. In fact, something similar to our last project. We are going to be doing wacky flowers. That's right. And if you did our last project, you know what that means. We're simply taking flowers. We're giving them th those form of personification, whether it's their faces or body. They're just having to do all this kind of silly stuff. Either way, it's your project. You're going to do whatever you need to do. But you know what time it is. So it's time to get ready. It is time to tap into your brain power, hit your creativity to the max, and create your own masterpiece. It is Art Ninja time. So let's go. That's better. Okay, boys and girls. So we are getting ready now for our wacky art project. So our mysterious ninja is going to show us how we can do this project. But remember, those are just examples. You can do it any way you want. So let's get ready. Hello, boys and girls. It's me, Fuego, your fire breathing safety dragon. Because if a fire breathing dragon can be safe, anyone can be safe. Hello. Hey, Fuego. Hey, I see you have your Art Ninja band ready. That means you're ready to do this project with us. I love flowers. I love to draw them, uh, look at them, uh, smell them, and my favorite, eat them. Uh, eat them? Oh, yes. Dragons love to eat flowers. That is why our breath smells so fresh. <laughs> okay, okay, Fuego, I believe you. Whoa, huh? actually, that smells pretty good. But uh, okay, Fuego, well, it's a little weird, buddy. But oh, okay. Well, Fuego, you know what? I think it's time then, because you're ready, I'm ready, and I think the students are ready. So why don't we just go right into the Art Ninja, so the Art Ninja can show us a couple of ways we can do this project, just to give us some ideas. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, boys and girls. So here we go. And now the Art Ninja is going to show us one example that we can use when creating a wacky project and it begins right now.
example. And then not, and notice again the shading. We have a flower that's dancing in the middle of, of some rain, some spring showers. That's a great job for boys and girls. Let's say um, you want to do a little bit more. You want to add multiple flowers and have a scene. For example, like in our last project where we had our wacky fruits playing a basketball game. Well, if you want to use multiple flowers, and again, do it any way you want. But here's another example that the Art Ninja wanted to show us. So let's begin right now.
And there you have it, boys and girls, spring tea time. Again, notice the little details, the way they're sitting down, the, the different colors of the flowers. And again, this is just an example. You don't have to do this. You can do anything you want. This is just something to give you an idea of what you can do because at the end of the day, it's your masterpiece. You get to be as creative as possible. But boys and girls, now it is time for you. You know what time it is, right? Tap into your creative power and let's get going. Wait! Wait, go. what is it now? I've been practicing my Spanish and wanted to share the new words I learned with the students. Spring, rain, and flowers. Oh, okay, you know what? That kind of goes with a theme. So I think that's a great idea, Fuego. Okay, guys, so first I'm going to show you some of the words that we're kind of using with this theme. And he's going to teach you the words in Spanish. So, guys, Fuego, take it away. Okay, okay, here. Mm -mm, okay. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Hola! <laughs> I said hola. I said hola. Can you do this every day? Can you stop? Okay, okay, okay. You just get the words. We do this every time. They know you always say hola. I don't even know why you say it like that, but could you help me up? Okay, okay, here it goes, here it goes. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, wait, wait. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Spring, primavera. Rain, lluvia. And flowers. the word flowers in it's a uh, duh <laughs> okay so silly huh Fuego, you know what <sighs> okay Fuego. uh why don't you just say goodbye since the students are ready for their project and they need to start tapping into their their, their, their creative power and, and create their masterpieces okay so can we just say goodbye okay mm -hmm. all right so let's go come on okay boys and girls hands up hands up here five here we go here we go come on big old dragon kiss Bye. Bye. Okay, for you. Bye. Okay, boys and girls. So like always, time to once again, right? Tap into your brain power, hit your creativity to the max, and create your own masterpiece. And remember, the three main things is this. Number one, have fun. Most important thing, whenever you do any of these projects, just have fun. Number two, challenge yourself. Maybe try to use different colors or try doing a different facial expression that you normally do. Or just kind of take a break, look around the internet, and see this. Some things that could inspire you, doesn't matter. Or just tap into your own creativity and do your own thing without looking at anything else. And the third one, boys and girls, is remember, as you're doing all these projects, just to take a moment to reflect on them. Are there new talents that you have discovered or maybe new things that you just enjoy doing? But either way, boys and girls, the main thing is always to just have fun as you experience new things. So, time to start our projects. And like always, have an artistic time, have an artistic day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.